Hello, everybody. My name is Kev Guy three seven eight, and welcome back to my heart had wings. Last video, we were at this part right here, and she's saying that I should be the one thanking her. And let's see why. Are you proud of that? If you think that people would be happy because it's so rare, you're severely mistaken. <laughs> Katori seemed daunted by this sound argument, put down the spoon, and started thinking seriously. No, I don't. I sounded a little mean, so Katori... Came cheerful all of a sudden. Her cheeks were quivering as she desperately tried to hold back the tears. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. I was joking. Don't make that face. <laughs> That's right. See? You're fine. <laughs> Hat quacked as though he was trying to cheer Katori up. I wouldn't tell you to say thank you, would I? It's just that if you go out without telling anyone where you're going, it's kind of dangerous, you know? She wiped the corner of her eye a little with her finger. Somehow, that's what the look on her face said. She put the spoon down and went to leave the dining hall. Where are you going? <laughs> she closed the notebook and put it on her lap. Then, a piece of paper fell from the notebook. You dropped something. Katori looked as though she hadn't heard and left the dining hall. Hat went after her. As the sound of the wheelchair grew farther away, I let out a big sigh. Maybe I said too much. It's just that I really was worried about her. I don't know anything about what's going on with Katori, so perhaps I was unnecessarily interfering. Wait. Speaking of which, she was wearing her uniform. However, she was wearing her own clothes yesterday when she went to Windmill Hill. Could it be that she was actually planning on going to school? That's possible, isn't it? As I thought of that, I felt my mood lighten a little and I picked up the piece of paper that she had dropped. Huh? For a moment, I couldn't believe my eyes. It was a notice for withdrawal from school. I was depressed while I was cleaning up after dinner, and Kanako came to comfort me. Why? Why did everyone leave so much uneaten? For tonight's dinner, Hanako was the only one who ate all of her food. Without exception, everyone else left some uneaten. Tomorrow, I'll make even more tasty food. So, so tasty that no one will leave with anything uneaten. I felt renewed determination, and then the duck came waddling into the dining hall. Um, there are some vegetables left over. Kanako 
Hanako took the leftover vegetables and fed them to Het. Is this duck her pet? Are you allowed to have pets here? So the owner must have been keeping him. Katori also called him a housemate. It's a mystery. Once she had finished feeding Hat, Kanako got out of her seat. Don't go walking around in your underwear again, okay? No. Hanako gave me a quick insult as she left the dining hall. Why does everyone have to insult me just before they leave? I felt a little hurt as I cleaned the dishes. He... This time, it was Katori poking her head into the dining hall. It was almost as if she was waiting for Kanako to leave before she came in. She doesn't seem to get along well with her, so maybe she really was waiting for her to leave. I thought she might have to come to have dinner, but she appeared to be looking for something. She's looking under the table. She went round the table once and then came past the counter in front of me. No, I haven't. What kind of paper? Positive. Katori groaned while staring at my face as if she were trying to see if I was telling the truth. With a straight face, I wiped the dishes with a towel. With no way to check, she went to look elsewhere. I'll put your dinner in the fridge. Heat it up in the microwave and eat it later, okay? I couldn't help lying to her. The thing she was looking for was a withdrawal notice that I'd picked up. People were worried that if it carries on like this, she'll stop coming altogether. It looks like she's not really enjoying school. Aiga's words crossed my mind. It looks like Katori really is planning to drop out of school. What am I doing? Why didn't I give the withdrawal notice back to her? There, I stood, not even really understanding those feelings myself. Extend the little wings which fly in the sky highly. Early in the morning, the doorbell chimed, so I went to open it, and there I saw Agatha. What are you doing here? She remarked that she saw me wearing an apron. Agaha focused on the word student dormitory as if questioning their suitability as she gazed at the magnificent entrance. I was surprised too to think that I would become the caretaker of the place that we used to sneak into when we were kids.
Why did you come here? I asked while guessing that perhaps she had come to invite me to walk to school with her. She is, after all, my number one best friend. I was wrong. Miss Alu? No, it's nothing. While blushing due to the misunderstanding, I looked back towards Katori's room. Looks like she still hasn't woken up. Even if she gets up now and takes her time eating breakfast, she can still make it with time to spare. There's still some left. You're joking, right? I only gave you a little bit. Oh, yeah, I guess. Kanako ate the whole thing again this morning, though. How was the taste? Really? With good food, it tastes good no matter how much you eat. An unrefined palate? The shock hit me like a bolt of lightning. I hung my head in dismay. The truth is, Agha had revealed the reason why, since yesterday, the boarders hadn't been eating my cooking properly. I thought I'd ask her opinion, which is why I made Agha some food and got her to eat it. It was made from leftover ingredients anyway. Cooking for girls is so difficult. Boy or girl, we're all human. Tasty is tasty. That's what I believed. Just as I was seriously troubled by this, I heard the squeaking of turning wheels coming from down the hallway. First hat the duck came into the dining hall, then Katori came in after him. It's the opposite to usual. <sighs> Katori rubbed her sleepy eyes and started preparing hat's food. It somehow looked as if the hungry hat had woken her up. Not understanding her words, Hat quacks happily as Kotori speaks to him and eats his food. Katori notices that Agaha is here and instantly opens up her eyes. Katori gave a hmm and made another one of those straight faces she's so good at. Demo 
あなたには関係ないでしょうんそうなんだけどね<笑>そうだよねごめん Why is Katori so mean? <笑>誰も今日休むなんて言ってないじゃないえ勘違いしないでねあなたに言われたから行くわけじゃないのよふう<笑>じゃあ待ってるね誰があなたと一緒に行くって言ったのよ私は一人で登校しますトリスは、straight face and turned her wheelchair around. She said she was about to leave. She stopped the wheelchair and turned around. In the next video, we will see why she turned around. Everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and share this video. I'd appreciate it so much and it would help a lot. Thank you, everyone, again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!